Welcome back. In this episode, I leave the comfort of my friend's cabin in Sedona, Arizona, with the goal of reaching Albuquerque by the end of the first day and Amarillo, Texas by the end of the second day. A total of 633 miles, or about 12 hours of driving at 55 miles per hour. My first stop was the Petrified Forest. In some ways, the awe inspired here matches that of the Grand Canyon. The vastness of the untouched beauty is both baffling and joyous. I met an interesting couple who was traveling the middle portion of Route 66. We shared travel stories and admired the beauty of this place. I've become fascinated with trains and clouds, little things that can distract me from the long stretches of gray-brown roads. Not far away, I made a visit to Inscription Rock at El Moro National Monument. Arriving around 4 p.m., they had closed the trails for the day, so I was only able to photograph and enjoy the scenery here. Sharing the experience of the majestic sandstone with admirers since at least 1275 AD. Leaving the monument, I crossed the Continental Divide at a height of around 7,800 feet while heading back to the highway. Then, on to Albert. What's that expression again? Into each life, some rain must fall. I spent the night at a Route 66 casino and truck stop and sat out the thunderstorm. The next morning, at 8 a.m., I was off once more. The allure of the wide open roads and 75 mile per hour speed limit encouraged me to drive a little faster, up to 65 miles an hour. I kept a close eye on the engine to make sure it didn't overheat. I had 293 miles to go to Amarillo, Texas. When stopping for gas, I noticed my engine was idling poorly, so I started to become concerned and regretted my decision to go over 60 miles an hour. I googled to see if there were any VW repair and park shops in Amarillo, Texas, as I had also lost the hubcap somewhere in the last day or two. Still not sure if I would need repairs or the problem was just the engine being worked too much. When I found Danny's Vogue stuff, and entered the address into my GPS. It said I should exit on Julian Boulevard. Is that a sign? It's 73 miles away. Hopefully Nestor can hang in for me till then. So I'm back to driving under 60 again. I've seen some cool cars on my drive so far, but sadly not one other VW bus. A biker couple who had given me a thumbs up yesterday when passing me were at the same gas station and they shared a VW bus story with me. He had bought one in 1966 for $100, he said. Ten miles from Amarillo, I decided to park at a truck stop for the night. I set up camp only to be asked to move as I was in a spot reserved for trucks. They can't see cars at night and accidentally back into you, I was told. The next morning I went into a repair shop that, it being Saturday, was normally closed. By a stroke of luck, the owner came in to do some work with his son and was willing to help me out. Danny Sr. and Danny Jr. have been working on Volkswagens for over 50 years and have their own machine shop. After a bunch of chatting and diagnosis, they have to pull out the engine and repair one of the cylinder heads. I had limped in on three cylinders. Danny gave me a ride to the Motel 6 down the road, which is located around several bars and restaurants. So I'm camped out for the next couple days waiting for Nestor to get some TLC after the first 1100 miles of our trip. Might as well have some fun while I'm here. Uh -huh.